Hi, this is Dr. Dillon. In this video, I want to talk about why x-rays are so important in dentistry. Before I go into the details of how x-rays are important in dentistry, I wanted to give a, a case example of one of my patients. I remember a few years ago seeing a 10-year-old boy, um, very healthy kid, very healthy teeth and gums. I had done a full dental exam on him um, and uh, had taken some uh, bite wing x-rays for inside his mouth to determine that he had no, no cavities. Um, but he was due for a panoramic x-ray, which is a large x-ray that goes around the, the, the full jaw, uh, upper and lower jaws and shows all the teeth. And it had been uh, then, you know, over five years since his previous X-ray, and uh, and typically we like to take panoramic X-rays at least every every five years. Uh, based on how everything was so healthy, and based on how he appeared to be, you know, a paragon of health, really for a young boy, um, we were almost thinking. In the back of my head, I was almost thinking maybe maybe I'll just take it next time. You know, the guy seems to be so healthy, but uh, but uh, no. But fortunately, we we, we did. And uh, the moment I saw the x-ray, my, my, my jaw dropped. There was a very large lesion along um, a, a wisdom tooth that was still developing, uh, a tooth that wouldn't be erupting for you know, a number of years. And, um, and yet there was a, an obvious large lesion there. Turned out to be a tumor. Uh, I immediately referred him to an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. Um, the, the surgeon, uh, you know, did a CT scan, further x-rays, and then led to uh, him getting a large part of his jaw resected, and unfortunately that, uh, you know, potentially saved his life. Unfortunately, over the years, over the 17 years, I've had uh, numerous other examples, just showing how many times people who have zero symptoms, you know, um, no pain, no discomfort, and yet have a serious, serious problem and often it's not visible until we see it on an, on an x-ray. There are many other uses for, uh, for x-rays in, in dentistry. It allows us to see many areas in between the teeth that we visually would not be able to see. It allows us to uh, see what the bone level is like for the gums, like, because visually we can only see the soft tissues, the you know, nice pink, hopefully pink, uh, healthy gum tissues over the bone, but, uh, but we want to be able to see what the bone is like underneath. That gives us a good idea for, for gum disease, for instance. It also allows us to screen for, um, obviously, those uh, more rare events, uh, the uh, various you know, lesions and tumors and cysts that, that might be present. Um, it also allows us to appreciate uh, for children uh, whose face is still developing, um, you know, if there's missing adult teeth or if things are in, you know, if there's room for the teeth that need to come in. Um, so multitude of, of uses of x-rays, um, uh, which, you know, are so important because otherwise um, there's many things that we would just be totally in the dark without x-rays. Modern digital x-rays for dentistry are far more advanced than they used to be. Just like how digital cameras for our phones are so much better today than they used to be 10 years ago or, or 20 years ago, I guess they didn't exist 20 years ago. But uh, likewise, uh, modern digital x-rays are far better, much more clear, and also much more sensitive. So that means they can get just as good, if not better picture today with far less radiation than what we needed 20 years ago. As a result, the amount of radiation that the average digital x-ray has is so, so small that it is now comparable to the background radiation that the average human being gets in, their, in a, in a 24-hour period. So just from being outside in the sun and other things, there's tiny bits of radiation that we're always picking up. And digital x-rays today in, in dentistry are so sensitive now, and so the amount of radiation is so small, it is comparable to that. And, and just showing that it is incredibly safe. If, if it wasn't, uh, we'd probably live in a lead house, but, uh, but we don't because it is such a low level that it's very, very safe. In our dental office, um, there, we, we do two different types of dig digital x-rays. Um, we have the ones that go in the mouth and we have the ones that are uh, 
that are done by our panoramic machine. So the digital x-rays that are done in the mouth, that we have a special uh, sensor, it has a little cord that hooks up to the computer and then it's placed in the mouth. Um, we do put a lead vest that helps to cover your chest and your neck because you know less radiation is always better than more radiation we still put a lead vest on and then our x-ray machine is adjusted to where it needs to be and then it's turned on and the sensor is exposed just like it would be when you're taking a photo with your um, cell phone camera and now when it comes to the panoramic x-ray that's done in a separate room we it's done standing up again we place a lead vest on and in this case, the machine goes completely around the patient's head to create a, a large image of the full jaw structure, uh, upper and lower jaws and surrounding bony tissues. So just to recap, uh, modern digital x-rays are incredibly safe, incredibly low radiation to compare to what they used to be. And yet they provide a very clear image um, of, uh, of areas of the mouth or the teeth or the bone that we wouldn't otherwise be able to see and help us to be able to come to a diagnosis of being able to determine if someone was healthy or, or unhealthy.